Bill is sick up there somewhere. Uh, I guess at his house. Yeah, if anybody here, if anybody wants to examine this thing, if we can figure out some way to do it, I think it'd be great because it's perfectly obvious what it is. You know, that it's no family Bible or any family possession, actually. It is something that was obviously given to President Kennedy. And they don't want it. Uh, obviously, Newsweek, Jay Graham and them would have asked you about it if they'd wanted the truth. They don't want it because uh, they'd ask you they'd have gotten it and they're afraid of it. Well, as I understand, no inquiry was made of us no. prior to the printing of the story. Not that I've heard of. I is heard. there somebody here that... Uh, who here, Mr. President, could uh, just uh, have it in his possession in short to I think Bill could get to uh, uh, Dorothy Treat to bring it over. Can't I tell them, can I tell them then today that they're perfectly welcome to go look at it or get their Washington people there to go see I don't know whether we want to or not, uh, unless Bill's sick, unless you can talk to Bill. Well, you want me to get Bill and put that to him? Yeah. I'll do that, sir. Now, let's see what George is going to say, just as little as possible. Let's see what you're going to say, George. Well, where you got this this initial statement down that, uh, <laughs> I don't know. The book which was used at the time that President Johnson took his oath is and has been in the official government archives together with other papers of the president. The book was delivered to the White House custodian of the president's papers and documents who has custody of those papers shortly after the return to Washington. And then there was a question as to... Do you want to say by Ms. Johnson, and do you want to say no, presidential no, no. instead I of president? I would say by Ms. Johnson. Yeah, no, that's, that's right. Do you want to say president or presidential? Hmm? President. I think presidential papers. Presidential? Yeah. Okay. Shortly after the uh, parties return to the parties, K-R-T-Y. Return to Washington. Singular? Yeah, you know, it's mm -hmm. presidential, mm -hmm. the whole presidential party airplane and so on. Did you say group or some parties? Right, the group, uh, shortly after the group returned to uh, uh, Washington. All right. And if there's a question about has any decision been made to its disposition, the answer was no. No decision has been made about this or specifically about any other papers of the president. Although, uh, uh, or specifically about a number of other papers of the president. And then could you say, although uh, uh, there's nothing secret about it and uh, no inquiry has been made, but if any is, we'd be glad to, uh, the archivist be glad to show them the book. Well, that's in connection with the next question, I think. Yeah, but uh, well, bear that in mind, yeah. Abe, so that you can uh, say that, uh, point out that nobody made any inquiry of us. First, we knew about. Miss Christensen, I wouldn't uh, say the archivist will show them the book. I say that it can be made available. You know, we don't want these guys uh, in touch with uh, Dorothy. Yeah. Well, Bill Moyers is on the line. Juanita tells me. Now? Yeah, is he on a line, a line now? She says she can get you connect, get him connected in too. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay Dor uh, Juanita. What's your next one? Uh? The next question was, can you describe the book? The answer was, it's not strictly speaking a Bible. It was a missile or Do we have book. to say that, uh, babe? Why don't we just say it's a Catholic version of the Bible? It's not. Yeah, it's not. I just say it's a, it's a missile. Yeah. It's a yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go to debating the Bible. I just say it's a missile. Yeah, or a prayer book. All right, it's a missile or a prayer book which belonged to President Kennedy bearing the copyright. I don't know whether I'd say belonged or not. Right, strike that. That's right. Yeah. It's a missile or a prayer book. Uh, which was, which was, uh, uh, found on the plane. Which, along with other books, was in Air Force One. May I interrupt now, Mr. Florida? Yeah. Thank you. Hello? Hello? They'll be on in a minute. Oh, Thank you. Got everybody. 
say it was a missile prayer book, which along with other books was in the compartment of Air Force One. Reading compartment. Bill, uh, Bill. Yes, sir. Uh, I guess George will get these questions on the Bible this morning. And uh, we're trying, uh, we've been working all morning trying to figure out what to do about them. Do you have any reaction? Well, Mr. President, I did this yesterday. I, uh, this thing has bothered me ever since Friday when I heard about it because I, I just felt that it was so damned unfair to claim that you had been anything but extremely courteous and kind throughout that whole period of Mrs. Kennedy that I called uh, on a strictly confidential basis, which I know he will respect, Dick Goodwin. Dick Goodwin is a friend of Bill Manchester. And I talked for about half an hour to Goodwin and expressed my concern. Goodwin then, without any reference to me, talked to Manchester. And he also talked to Robert Kennedy. And uh, he had, uh, he had, Goodwin did it on the basis of his having seen the report in the New York Times on Saturday and uh, being very concerned about it because it reflected a different situation than he knew. Goodwin did call me back last night, right before I was leaving for the airport, and said that Manchester and that the, first of all, Kennedy has not seen the transcript. He refuses to read it for personal reasons, uh, emotional reasons, but that Ethel had, and that uh, that Kennedy had instructed Manchester to let him, Goodwin, uh, come Tuesday night and read the manuscript, manuscript, uh, and take out anything that was that was likely to cause embarrassment to uh, an incumbent president or uh, Mrs. Kennedy. Now, uh, uh, Goodwin said that. Kennedy, that, uh, that Manchester was very unhappy about this. Uh, Manchester on his own uh, uh, had uh, had put in a good bit of this stuff, according to Goodwin anyway. Uh, and he doesn't want to take it out. Uh, neither does Look want to take it out. But Goodwin is going to read the manuscript tomorrow night and then confidentially come to see me and tell me what is in it, what he is going to insist that comes out. The bit about the Bible, it goes this way. It, it, it is not as reflected in the stories put out by the public relations flag uh, on Friday and, and Saturday. What Manchester says is that Mrs. Hughes then uh, brought the Bible aboard that Larry O'Brien found a white prayer book and gave that to her because it was aboard the plane, and when she went back down the steps, she handed it to a man she thought was uh, a Secret Service agent. It, it turned out he was the Secret Service agent. There's no implication whatsoever that we have kept the Bible, according to Goodwin's account of Manchester's relation, relating it to him yesterday. In light of all of this, I don't think we ought to say anything. I suppose you were asked about it, Bill. What would you do? I would say, well, let, I do not. I have not seen the manuscript. I do not know. I suppose you asked what happened to the Bible. Do we know anything about the Bible? Well, I don't know the answer to that question, do we? Yeah, we do know it. Well, then, then we well, in other words, in other words, there uh, is in uh, the archives uh, here in the archivist's possession the. Uh, something very valuable that you have just uh, added, though, Mr. President, and that is uh, Sarah Hughes uh, brought a Bible on board to use, and uh, Larry O'Brien uh, 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 handed her this uh, book to be used instead of Sarah Hughes, instead of the Bible that Sarah Hughes used. I didn't understand it that way. Is that, is is that, that what you said, Bill? Yes. Now, that is true. That's very important. Now, I think the one thing that we have to nail down, uh, well, let me back up one minute. I talked to Mrs. I talked to O'Brien mm -hmm. yesterday morning. He said, yes, 
doesn't want to get drawn into it. But he looked around for something that could be used that would be on the plane. Yeah. And he found a, no, no, and, and Ed, uh, I cannot think of the fellow's last name, the steward, the Paul steward on Air Force One, suddenly came up to him and said, Mr. O'Brien, wouldn't they like to use this? Larry said it was a box. Larry opened the box. It was a white prayer book. Larry then handed that. He remembers and uh, he recalls handing it to me to Mrs. Hughes. He didn't know whose it was. He didn't know whether it was Mrs. Kennedy, whether it was the steward, whose it was, and that she knew this. Now, the, the missing link is a question put to Judge Hughes right. about whether or not she did bring one aboard and what happened to the one she brought aboard. Right. And uh, we know that... Uh, we have a letter from Judge Hughes, a copy of a letter from Judge Hughes, which says when she arrived at, at the place, someone handed her the Bible, she says, which was a small brown leather volume, it was black leather, right. about six inches by eight inches in size. This all fits together because my guess is that uh, this uh, prayer book was in a white box and it probably never been taken out of the box. Uh, that's what was handed uh, 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 to Judge Hughes and what was used. Well, I think that we that someone has to ask Judge Hughes if she, in fact, did bring a Bible from her yeah. office. In fact, because there was one be. story current at the time that the reason she was late is that she got down to the lobby of the uh, court building and forgot that she had a Bible, went back up and took one off of her desk. She would normally have done that. That's what a judge would normally do. And then she gets on the plane with her Bible and somebody hands her uh, a white box with uh, uh, this book in it. Uh, white then probably never been out of the plane. Have you all before. seen the story in the uh, uh, in the paper this morning about the, uh, uh, the Manchester book? Yes. In the Post. In the Post, yeah. I haven't seen the post. There's, a, there's big headlines down here all about it, though. I guess it's the same story. Well, it isn't much of an item. Uh, no. Post. No, the, not the, they, it is here, four or five column heading in the post of here, Houston Post. The net of it is, I don't have it. I gave it to Bird Walk, though, but the net of it is, it just leaves impressions. To, well, here it is. A new book on J.K. full of untold facts. It's a... Hello. 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 New book on JFK full of untold facts. AP. On her last day in the White House, Ms. Kennedy wrote a letter to Khrushchev expressing his mother of two children her hopes for peace. It was reported Sunday. The incident is excerpted by Newsweek magazine, The Death of President, written by Manchester. The book will be published Harper Road, January. The book had been compiled with the help of the Kennedy family. Oh, that's AP dispatch. That's the same one that's printed on the post on page four. Okay. The one that's up here. And the headline is Mrs. JFK's Peace Plate to Moscow Reveal. Okay. Yeah. That's not accidental. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's not, uh, the, the thing about the Bible is uh, not conspicuous. I wonder if it wouldn't, uh, Abe, this goes against your feeling that we blow it up by being secretive about it. But it seems to me that uh, with George's first briefing, it's kind of like uh, Jim Moyer's briefing here uh, the day after Bill left on the aluminum strike, that it'd be better if we could to uh, just say he doesn't have any information on it, and he refers him to Bill in Washington. And Bill just uh, uh, meet and sit down with you, and you all work out what you do about it. That's okay. I, I he, is due, he is due to brief 20 minutes ago, and he's 40 minutes from the briefing. Yes, I just feel very strongly that uh, this thing will build up who stole the Bible. It's a very dramatic thing unless... See, one of, the thing, one of the things that's going on is this. The flack for Look Magazine is dribbling out bits and pieces of this, yeah. just as they did the Schlesinger book. Mm -hmm. Now, we are put in the position of commenting on the reports of a public, of a public relations agent printed in Newsweek magazine. Yeah. Before the text comes out, we may be commenting on a sin that nobody has committed. And I just prefer, to, to my own judgment, it would be to prefer and wait until we get
get closer to the printing of the manuscript than after I talked to Goodwin tomorrow night. Now, this is not a question. Uh, you, you're right, Bill, um, term, in my judgment, in terms of the book. The question here is what's happened to the Bible. Well, could, could, could do we just tell you that he had no information and uh, uh, that uh, any information about it come from lawyers in Washington? And then uh, when they go to Moyers and they give give us another hour, you and Moyers get together and agree. Sure, yes, sir. I think that would be better. And then Moyers could limit himself to this statement, uh, namely that the book on which the president took the oath is in the White House archives. Period. Is it the uh, is it the U.S. government archives? Is, is it yeah, at the White House? That's right. That's better. U.S. government archives. That's much better. And, uh, but I 